I welcome you again to my office. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your interest in these weekly reflections. Welcome to our weekly wow, word of the week. Words for this life, words that will point us to and prepare us for the life to come. And as always, written copy available on my website. Our word this week is the word timber, the cry of a worker felling a tree in the woods, a warning to others that a tree is about to fall, and a biblical principle, biblical principle being that we as Christians must stay sharp. Ecclesiastes 10.10 10 says a dull axe requires more strength, so be wise and sharpen your blade. Abraham Lincoln is credited with saying, give me six hours to cut down a tree and I will spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. I understand the principle that Solomon is sharing in Ecclesiastes 10, but I must admit that I do not have much experience using an axe. My experience in cutting trees, felling trees, cutting up firewood has to do with chainsaws, finishing the project with a splitting maul and wedges. I'm grateful that I learned to fell trees and cut firewood by working alongside more experienced persons. I watched as they stopped frequently to adjust and sharpen the chain on the chainsaw. I learned the importance of keeping the chain oil. I learned that operating the chainsaw really requires little effort on the part of the operator, as long as the chain is adjusted and sharpened correctly. And I learned how to restore the cutting edge to the teeth on the chain. The key was working smarter rather than working harder. I had two chains for each of my chainsaws. I didn't throw a chain away just because it became dull. I got it sharpened. I wanted to restore it to its original usefulness. In the meantime, I would use the second chain because there was still work to be done. I see numerous life lessons. First, a very simple principle, but one we easily overlook, is that living life, being useful, accomplishing God's plan in our lives, dulls the chain. Just a part of life. A, an unused chain does not grow dull. Second, we are going to face life situations that dull the chain more than normal. Moments when we cannot accomplish certain tasks. Those moments do not dictate our future. We simply must sharpen the chain and move onward. A third lesson, when the cutting edge is dulled, it's time to sharpen the chain. And it's something that has to be done frequently. And it doesn't do any good to blame other factors. Denying the problem changes nothing. So the ultimate lesson for us as Christians, the spiritual lesson, is that we need to stay sharp. Inexperienced workers often fail to understand the importance of investing time in the very time-consuming task of adjusting and sharpening the chain. They mistake those times of adjustment and sharpening for resting. The key can never be in working harder, laboring longer, doing more if, in fact, we are accomplishing less. Many people are working with a dull chain. Uh, many Christians, church leaders, preachers, teachers, are not resharpening themselves. And many times I fear we don't know how to resharpen ourselves. The chain must be sharpened, it must be sharpened at the correct angle, tensioned correctly, constantly oiled, when the chain is maintained and sharpened correctly, used correctly, it lasts a lot longer. And we want to do as much as possible for as long as possible in the service of the Lord. The great lesson is we save time and accomplish much more when we take time for sharpening. That sharpening process is what allows us to holler timber with much more frequency and much more often. Self-maintenance, readjustment, sharpening. Do you know how to maintain the cutting edge in your own spiritual life? That's 
the lesson for this week's Word of the Week. That'll also be the topic next week as we go to part two of some practical ideas about how we can make progress and keep the chain sharp. In the meantime, my prayer for you is that you'll think about this word timber a few times in coming days, and you'll go out of your way to sharpen the chain. Keep yourself sharp spiritually. Remember that I love you, God loves you, that's the way it's going to be. I pray that as you go forth this week that you'll do everything you can to keep the chain sharp and be useful for God. Till we are together again in next week in part two of our study, my prayer is that you might find maximum usefulness in the service of our God as we seek to glorify his name in all we say and do and are. God bless.